Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about the new Webtoon comic book that DC came out with today called Batman Wayne Family Adventures because reasons. And don't get me wrong, it is DC comic book's first attempt at trying to do um, Webtoons and I just got to say, good God, DC. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. It's a slice of life kind of thing. And if you like slice of life, you'll like this story. But for me, I'm one of those people that I could care less about slice of life when you have IP characters like that, superheroes, seeing superheroes in a slice of life thing just doesn't work for me. That's why it was hard for me to get into Baruto um when you have a show that's mostly or not even just a show but when you have a property that's mostly action oriented to see them in like these slice of life kind of things is just weird i mean i'm not that i'm not saying that it can't work but i don't know it just kind of feels off to be honest for me when i was reading it i, I mean basically the story is Duke Tom Thomas is moving into the Wayne family. I mean, is moving into the Wayne Manor, and he's dealing with that kind of that that stuff of like, oh, I'm the new person that's living here, and I have this new family now. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you know, he had to meet his little shithead brother, new brother, Damian Wayne, who introduced him. I mean, you know, not introduce him, but, like, just shows him around the Wayne Manor and stuff like that. And that was literally chapter one. It's just literally Damien showing Duke Thomas around the manor and Bruce telling um, Thomas, welcome to the family. And, you know, hey, we'll train you and I'll, I'll be here for you and everything. The next chapter is literally them fighting about a cookie. Because um, as long as um, apparently it's a tradition in the Wayne family house, how um, if nobody gets hurt on the mission, when they come back, they have desserts and Alfred makes them, you know, desserts or whatever. And of course, there was one cookie left and you already knew what happened. Basically, everybody was fighting over the cookie. Everybody was fighting over the cookie. The only person that wasn't there was literally Nightwing. Really, that was weird that Nightwing wasn't there. But they were all fighting over the cookie. And then at first it landed in, um, landed on Bruce Wayne and stuff like that. And he basically told everybody to bring it on if they want to have this cookie. And of course, Cassandra kicks the cookie out of Bruce Wayne's hand and it landed into Alfred's um hand pretty much and the chapter ends there where alfred has the the last cookie and of course you know ain't nobody gonna challenge alfred and the next chapter which was the last chapter that was available at the time of me recording this was basically oracle barbara gordon and yes she's in her wheelchair basically talking to her father and they're catching up about each other's lives and how everything is going on in her life. <laughs> and of course, it's just her being annoyed with the Bat family in general. While being the Oracle and running the, the Bat family. While, you know, the Bat family do dumb things, pretty much. Um, Tim and Stephanie went to the wrong bank. Damien wants to um wants her to override the the Batmobile so he can drive that kind of stuff <laughs> and her like just basically doing what she normally does make sure the family does what they need to do out in the field and that's literally it that was literally it her catching up with her dad and them describing their nights to each other while cutaways of her dealing with the stupidity of her bat family and that was literally the episode to be honest. I mean, that was literally it. So it really wasn't much to really say. So, you know, I know some people wanted it to be more than what it is, but 
is not much of nothing really and of course there there's nothing there's there's nothing wrong with it with this book it's just that i don't know i guess because i felt like if you're going to come out swinging dc come out swinging um to go the slice of life route was kind of weird but hey it is what it is i understand they're trying to do something different with the webtoons but i would have probably did did like a action adventure kind of thing maybe take the characters out of gotham city or something like that or have a story that's literally focused on action without trying to explain anything that would have been cool that's just my opinion i'm not saying that people don't go to webtoons for the slice of life things but it's just kind of weird when you see a established ip character like that because i mean no offense we're getting this shit in regular continuity and you're doing the same thing in webtoons and to be honest it just comes off lazy to be honest and i know that's probably not popular with some people but to me i'm just like they already do like little side stories where they kind of half-ass do something like this too you know not really slice of life things, but like the backup story will be something pathetic or they'll literally have one comic book of them doing that kind of that kind of nonsense just with better artwork depending and terrible dialogue. But it is what it is, though, though to be honest. I mean, I'm quite sure there'll be some people that'll um, read it because I read it because I had the Webtoon app because i'd be reading other things on webtoons but yeah i mean it's it's batman on on webtoons but to be honest it just kind of looks like a fanfic it looked like um just the person that was drawing a fanfic comic and who got approved to just do it instead of like dc actually getting somebody for real to do it but i don't know that's just that's just my opinion on the matter but it is what it is on the whole webtoons kind of thing <laughs> if you ask me um do i think it could be successful i'm quite sure it has i think it has eight thousand readers so far so that's something that that's something um and i guess if this does well down that means they'll put more time and effort into that kind of stuff and it'll probably give even more reasoning for um them to probably give up on the comics anyway and my fear is it's going to you know make a lot of long-term fans comic book fans be like screw it you know stuff like this i don't know it's a it's a catch-22 it's a catch-22 so i don't know we'll have to see from there i'm not saying it's not it's 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 bad i think it's 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 a cute it's cute stories if that's what you mean but it just doesn't fit batman if that makes sense you know what i'm saying but those are my thoughts and my opinions about it um i hope um if any of you guys read it let me know what you think tell me what you think in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys later peace out